The series begins in London. The series begins with uh, a chase of an unknown subject by some CIA undercover operatives. And it turns out to be Jack Bauer. And what brings Jack to London is he's been out of the United States since the very end of season eight. Uh, he managed to escape to Eastern Europe where he's been underground for four and a half years and has resurfaced because of the circumstances of the day. And that's where we start. We start running. We didn't start out behind a desk this year. The first few days, we did a lot of running and action stuff. And, and I actually felt really good about it. And I think John did as well. And John directed so many of the seasons of 24 uh, that I really do rely on him great. We didn't waste any time. Our first week, we were just stock block with action and dialogue. So he didn't even have a chance not to fit it into it. He had to fit into it. He had to do it quickly, and, and he did. He's become a very kind of mythic character. So many people have died, and he's lost so many people, and he carries those people with him. But he also has a kind of unapologetic quality to him and a moral center to him that I think he's earned and come by very honestly. He's the agent's agent. He is undying. He is indefeatable. Whatever odds he's ever faced over the course of the last eight seasons, some 200-something episodes, you can't get rid of him. And there's something immensely appealing about that. You know who I am. Trigger an alarm and I'll blow your head off. The character is, is like a kind of this fantastic long-lost friend, you know, and so we got to see each other again.